Hidden deep within the spire lie the sisters. They control the threads of fate. Gain control of your thread, and you will be able to return to the moment when Zeus betrayed you. and boldest captain in the Spartan army. Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle, until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands, and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies and my life! is yours. That desperate call for aid will come to haunt Kratos for all his days. The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos he would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. This time, ghost of Sparta, I will have your head. 